Hi everyone, it's Mr. Vallejo. Uh, welcome to science class. Uh, in this video, I would like to show you how to use Quizlet as a study and review aid. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'm gonna share my screen with you and we're going to go to, uh, let's go over here to uh, my browser I'm using. Today I'm using uh, Google Chrome and now I can go up to the URL bar and type in Quizlet. Quizlet.com, you can see it. it's already populated because I go there often. And so there's my Quizlet set. Um, now I'm logged in. There's an ad, I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, I need to pay to upgrade to be a teacher in Quizlet, so I'm not going to do that. And I would encourage you not to pay also. You can see some of my sets right there, but uh, I don't see the one that I'm interested in. Let's say I was interested in the uh, Unit 2 uh, Review Study Guide for Exam 2. So I'm going to go over here to, uh, let's see, let's go to sets over here. And you can see all of the different sets that I've, I've made over the years. Look, here's one on hurricanes. Yeah, I even have one on the periodic table. There's one on the largest islands. And so you can, you can have quite like sets and all kinds of different topics. Um, let's see, let's go, I, I can't find it. So let's go over to right here. You could type to filter to find it. And so I would type in uh, exam two, maybe something will pop up. Oh, there's one, there's a study guide for exam two. So I'm gonna click on that. And that's the one I want to use today. It's an exam two study guide. Now in Quizlet, you have uh, flashcards. Here I have 134 flashcards that'll help me study for the unit two uh, midterm exam. So uh, to use this, I would hit this arrow right here. Only blank is not a stage in mitosis. Gosh, what could that be? I think it is probably interface. And so I'm gonna click on the card and I'll flip over to see if I'm correct. And I was correct, yay. I'm glad I was correct because I teach this stuff. Uh, so, so then you just go through the cards and it's a definition on one side and it is a term on the other and so forth. So, Here's something, a somatic cell with two of each type of chromosome characteristic of the species, has a 2N uh, chromosome number called a diploid number. So that's how you do that. So you run back and forth and do all those. You can also use the learn function if you would like to. And when you, when you go to learn, it says answer every term correctly twice to finish it, and it'll help you to um, help you to learn it. So, so over here it says study of relationship of organisms with one another and their environment. Well, that's called ecology. So I'm going to click not there, not there. I'm going to click on ecology and yay, I got that correct. Now an autosome, what is that? An autosome is a chromosome, it's not a sex chromosome. So actually this is the answer here. But when you get it wrong, let's click on this one. Oh, it tells me that I got the wrong answer and I should study this one. So I'm gonna go through all the cards and then I can learn about this is the ozone layer hole, you know, and so pea plants are what Mendel used. And so now you can see I'm on a, I'm on a roll now, so. Uh, so the ones that I am, you know, when I get it right, putting it in the familiar one here. And when I get it right twice, 
it'll say known well. So that's how you use a learn function. You can also use the write or the spell. Um, the good thing about the, I forget which one it is, the spell function maybe, that it'll actually read it to you. It says, type what you hear. So you got to turn up the sound on this one. And then uh, it says, click here to start autoplay. Ecology. All right. So then you've got to you gotta type that in. Ecology. It's a study of relationship of organism with one another and their environment. So uh, I'm going to hit the return and I got it correct. Um, and this is the, I I'm, didn't hear it, but I know the answer. So I'm going to type in the answer, the locus. So it's correct. And so you just keep on doing it that way. So if you would like to, um, if you're more an audio learner, uh, then you, you might want to do it uh, this way and, and uh, learn the information through the spelling. Okay, the two things I would, you to do in order to get credit is to play the matching game and to do a practice test. So in the matching game, what you do, oops, that's the gravity game, which is a little too picky for me. So that's why I have you do the matching game. In the matching game, what you do is you got to uh, match up a term with the definition. So I'm going to click philosophers and go over there like that. Uh, principle of segregation over there, synthesis is there, and so that's how you play this. And so if you get a score that's less than 30 seconds, if your time is less than 30 seconds, take a screenshot of this. Now if you have a PC, it's very simple, it's print screen. Um, if you have a Chromebook, it's also very simple. On the top row, there is the rectangle with two lines to the right. It's called the switch screen button, so or the switch window button. So hit the switch window. If you want a screenshot of, uh, of the whole page, then that's control and the switch screen button. And then if you're still using a Mac, uh, I used to use a Mac a long time ago. It's Command Shift 3. So Command Shift 3 is how you get a screenshot and it goes on to the desktop and then from the desktop you can copy it onto uh, a Microsoft Word document or a Google document. Okay, so that's the first thing you do um, and that's how to take a screenshot. The second thing that you would do is um, play the, not play the game, but do a practice test. And on the test, what I'd like you to do is, and this is the default, you have written questions, you have matching questions, you have multiple choice questions, and then you have true or false questions. Well, the program is a little too picky on the written questions. If you capitalize it, incorrectly or if you if I typed it without a capital or typed it without a period and you type a period it's going to mark it wrong so um, so I'm going to uh, go to options in the bottom left corner right here and click on options and you can see all four types are selected I'd like you to unselect written before making a new test. So then you're going to take the test and then you're going to um, you're going to go ahead and and uh, and you know and do the test as best you can. So this is the atmosphere right here. So composition of air is C. Um, this is raising few offspring called a K strategist. Over here, a temperature inversion. It's what we have in Los Angeles sometimes. So that's letter E. 
and so on and so forth. You would just do this one. Over here, you have some multiple choice. So whatever the answer is, then, um, then what you're gonna do is uh, click on the correct answer. Um, let's see. Notice it there it is right there. And so you're gonna have some questions that are matching, some that are multiple choice. Um, you're gonna have also over here, some true false questions. And, uh, and then at the very end, after you finish all 20 questions, you're gonna hit check answer. Now I didn't even do them all. So I'm not going to pass, but let's go ahead and give you the check answer. Oh, you get 35%. So I'm going to go back and do this again. And I'm going to do this again and again until I get 80% or more. So when I get 80%, that'll be my second screenshot. Then I'll have both of those together and I can put those on a Microsoft Word document. Like for example, let me take a screenshot of this. I'm going to hit the print screen button and then I'm going to go to Microsoft Word and what I have to do is go to Microsoft Word like that and get a new file, a blank document, then I can paste this into this document. I'm going to use the keyboard. You could use a mouse, but uh, you can use a mouse and right click and find paste or you can go control V as in Victor, V as in Vallejo, and then you'll get the screenshot. So that's the first screenshot. Remember the second screenshot is when you play that matching game and get the time. And then you put that there and then save this document. Here the default is document one. You're going to save this as something else. Let's say uh, I'm going to put it in, uh, I'll just put it in my documents, not even in a folder. I'll call this Quizlet screenshot or uh, review your exam two. I'm going to put my name on it, save it. Then uh, if it's an assignment, then you would go to Canvas and you would turn that in. Uh, like for example, if I could go to share screen again and see if I have Canvas open somewhere. There's a Canvas account and look at the assignments. Okay, uh, there's a Quizlet assignment right there. And then to turn this in, you're going to have, this is the teacher view, but you're gonna have a button right here that says submit. And then when you submit it or submit assignment, then, um, then you're gonna go back to your file. Remember, I put it not in a folder, but in the documents. And there it is, Quizlet screenshot for review exam two. So I'd click on that and I could turn it in. So that's how we use Quizlet. I encourage you to use this, especially as a study tool for, for my exams. And then you, I also encourage you to use this to uh, help you hone in on the important material um, from my lectures. So that's why sometimes I give them as an assignment. When it is an assignment, remember you have two screenshots, one of the, uh, the practice tests, and one of your, your beautiful uh, less than 30 second time on the matching game. So that's how we use Quizlet. I hope that makes sense to you. If you have any questions, email me please, and we'll, uh, we'll try to work out your issues. Alrighty, have a great day.